Hi, I'm Matt. I'm 21 years old. I go to UW Parkside, and this is my Miata. I originally got into cars in 2019. I didn't know anything about cars. I knew that I was gonna be learning something when I jumped into it. Um, I, when I was little, I saw my aunt detailing my parents' cars when I was little. She would wax them. And I had a beat little car that I used to drive and I decided, you know, that looked really satisfying. And I gave it a try and it came out really good. And I decided to get a car that had a lot nicer paint. And I just happened to go with a little Miata. So Miatas are a very light car. They are super fun around hills and corners. Uh, my Miata actually started out with an exhaust and wheels, and then I ended up turbocharging it, which produces a lot more power for the car. Um, when you're producing a lot of power, some engine components are gonna be wearing down quite easily. So you'll need to upgrade a lot of internals on the engine. And I ended up building the entire bottom end and entire head of the engine. I originally bought this car from an older man. Uh, he actually gave me a really good deal on it because back then Miatas were actually a lot cheaper. Um, he kept it in pristine condition. It was totally stock, no modifications, no rust, no oil leaks, no coolant leaks, no dents, no scratches. Perfect. He literally kept it as a stock show car. Um, and I bought it off of him for a very good deal. And if you were to see it now, he I don't know how he would react. In my opinion, this car is an extension of my personality. I built the car for myself, and I built it for the way that I want to drive it. Um, I don't need other people to tell me how to build it, and I can just build it the way that I want it. I'm the driver. The focus is on me and the car. In the car world, there are a lot of critics. A lot of people online who will tell you what to do, and what looks good, and what looks bad, and honestly, if you're modifying your own car, it should be whatever you want it to look like. For new people, it seems like it could be really tough to budget for a car like this. Um, back when I originally bought it and when I bought the bulk of my parts, I was actually working around 70 hours a week. Um, and there's things that you have to sacrifice. I never went out and bought really nice clothes. I never really went out and bought really nice food from restaurants. I usually stayed at home and I ate food from home. Back to the engine bay, I originally turbocharged the motor and I was making around 250 horsepower and around that range the rods like to break. And that happened to me twice actually. Um, I rebuilt the motor, uh, put forged internals on the inside so that those rods wouldn't break again. Uh, I had everything remachined so that all the tolerances were perfect. I also put in a 340 liter per hour fuel pump in and a standalone ECU so I can tune the car with my own laptop while driving around. So some other mods that are a little bit smaller and a little bit cheaper on the car is I have some really nice carbon Miata tail lights and they have some super cool sequentials for the turn signals and they're generally just a little bit brighter than the stock ones. I also have Jeep headlights with a nice halo headlight. On the interior I have a disconnectable steering wheel by NRG, and then I have the Megan Racing short throw shifter. For the seats, I did a little mod that's called um, a foamectomy, and it's just where you cut all the foam out, so it's more like a bucket seat. Cars have really shaped my life. Uh, as of recently, I've made so many friends from cars, people who are just willing to come over, you know, chill, start brunching, and they're people who I can just call family.